At this stage, we just finished creation of a forensic image. And uh, to answer this question, what does FTK Imager Create Disk Image option accomplish? Let me close uh, the dialog box and go back to Create Disk Image. Of course, you can use various types of sources, including physical drive, logical drive, contents of a folder to be able to generate forensic image. So in the end, you can always uh, compute a hash fingerprint for the image that you're generating. But in addition to this, another reason why you might want to use uh, disk image creation, if you already have an image file, you can proceed to the next um, uh, prompt and try to browse for an existing image, such as this one right here. So I can specify location right here. and Say that this is the image I want to use as a source for uh, another image creation. And when you click Finish, and if you try to specify the destination, it would be possible at this stage to take one input format and convert it to a different format. So once again, um, FTK Imager User's Guide will uh, give you more details about these different formats. But sometimes you may be using uh, forensic software that, for instance, can only open in case file or other types of files. And uh, not able to open a smart format or AFF format. So, so if that's your case, you can always use FTK Imager to make conversion to a different image type and continue using both uh, as you need. The difference between physical drive and logical drive I already discussed with you. If using physical drive as a source, FTK Imager will use its own software to access the drive. If you are using a logical drive, FTK Imager will attempt to use application programming interface of the operating system on which you are running. So this is the difference here. A logical drive acquisition is typically the case in a civil litigation where the examiners, like forensic accounters, have to process lots of information, volumes of information uh, existing on uh, companies' uh, hard drives. And in that case, they're not using for deleted items, for items that could potentially uh, need to be recovered from an allocated space. Uh, they're just having um, a volume of documents that they need to examine to look for patterns of uh, financial fraud or, or, or things of that nature. Of course, physical drive acquisition is required in most of criminal cases. Like I told you, except a uh, situation where a physical drive is encrypted, then uh, your only choice is to process it as a logical drive using uh, file system analysis, which currently decrypts the volume. So image file could be used for image type conversions, right here, this option. And contents of a folder, of course, would allow you to, for instance, uh, grab a folder export it out as a forensic image, compute a, uh, a uh, hash fingerprint for it, and share it with your colleagues or other organizations for their feedback, additional analysis, their opinions, and things of that, uh, of that kind. So also, you could use contents of a folder uh, functionality here to quickly access specific folder and be able to use all of the facilities built into FTK Imager uh, interface to be able to do a quick examination of a specific location on a hard drive.
as I told you, destination image types are described uh, fully in FTK user's guide. And you can also, I would encourage you to Google these formats and find out more information about them and uh, uh, write down uh, your findings in this box. When selecting image destination in FTK Imager, why is it important to verify images after they are created? So, of course, it's very important uh, because, as I told you, when you're taking an image of an existing drive, I'll try to uh, recreate this diagram, and you're going through this process of uh, imaging using FTK or another tool, you want to create an image file, which is just a file, it's no longer a physical drive, but its content is exactly the same as you would find in the original file. So once again, uh, this would be your primary area where you would do all of your examination. And by the time it's fully acquired by FTK Imager, you want to be able to compute the, uh, the hash of the acquisition process and then recompute it on this drive to have a verification hash as well. And before you start your analysis, uh, any time in the future, you can also recompute this hash and all of them have to match exactly. They have to be exactly the same. This will make it certain that the image that you're trying to examine is still intact compared to the original drive. This is an absolutely standard procedure, and in all of your reports, you would typically include this hash verification and indicate that it matches the original image hash. We did see the dialog box displaying uh, image verification results in this video. Uh, if you'd like to see it, you can just rewind it and pause at that stage. But generally, it duplicates the information uh, that is stored in the second file that FTK Imager creates, which basically reports here information about uh, physical evidentiary item uh, acquisition. And it uh, uh, specifies all the details about the drive configuration and gives you information about image information, uh, checksums, and then verification results. So it's roughly duplicating this information in this uh, area of this file. And we've just seen this log file right here. So what I'm asking you to do, just simply take a snapshot, copy it right here um, of this file created alongside with your image and paste the entire content in this box. So let's add the forensic image that we just created as evidence item and take a look at uh, FTK Imager view. 